Hello Capricorns, this is your February love reading for singles and couples. I'm dying to get started. Let's see what's happening in the overall love energies for February for couple or single Capricorns. What's going on spirit with Capricorns in February? We have letting go. Inner lights. There's any more messages. Mm. Okay. Guess that's it. That's fine. We have letting go. Letting go. And inner light. Perfect. We'll go more in depth in a moment when we lay out all the cards. All right, so for February, for what? Well, Capricorns, couple or single, be confronting in the month of February. What will Capricorns be confronting? We have the Page of Swords. In the area of love, what will they be facing? What will Capricorns be facing or confronting? We have Nine of Wands. What tools will Capricorns Utilizing to either bring love into their life or to navigate love situations. We have the Knight of Pentacles. What tools will the universe have that? And then finally. The outcome cards. How does the month of February end for couples and single Capricorns in terms of love? We have the moon card. Quite a few jumps to that. Which we have the moon, the full card, the eight of cups, and the page of cups. All right. Any additional guidance, spirit, on what's happening this month with Capricorns and love, or how they can bring about more love? Any advice or guidance? Stay optimistic about your love life. Soulmate. Every blue moon this happens. And then calling in your soulmate. Where those two cards come up. I'm going to move these up here. So we can fit. Yeah, every blue moon. They all come, so it'll be interesting how this reading goes here. And then finally, the sensual sexual connections for 
Capricorns, single and couple. What's happening in February in the bedroom with sensual sexual connections? Ten of Wands. Maiden of Pentacles or Page of Pentacles. Okay. So in terms of the overall overarching energies, we have letting go and in inner light. Letting go of past hurts is very important um, this month and going forward, Capricorns. In order for the inner light that you've already got beaming and shining through you that's happening in your life right now, whether this be um, just your self-love finally shining brightly um, through all of the pain, you've got to get to a place where you are letting go of a lot of resentment, a lot of old uh, pent-up frustrations about the past. If you want to move forward in any meaningful and progressive kind of way, you've got a beautiful, bright light, inner light, shiny, ready to be shared with others, whether you're in a relationship or not, Capricorns. So help your inner light shine bright by letting go of things that are obstructing or kind of dimming your light. What could be dimming? What are ways or things in your life right now that is dimming your light? And whatever it is, it's time to eliminate it. If those are negative people or a negative person you've been dating, it may be time to let them go. If it's negative thought patterns that you have about love, it is time to let those go. They do not serve you. And have they ever really served you? Probably not. So it's time to let them go. Um, so... Now we move into the tarot portion of the reading. We have the Page of Swords and the Nine of Wands. Um, so this month, you're feeling a little bit rebellious. You're wanting to try out new ways of connecting. If you're in a relationship, of connecting with your partner. Um, you're feeling a little rebellious in terms of if you're single, you want um, ways of how you date and how you approach dating. You are... Um, kind of when you are on actual dates you're a little bit cutthroat and kind of you know shoot from the hip and tell it like it is and that for better or for worse could be turning off a partner or bringing them a little bit closer i get a sense that for some of you many of you it's bringing this person closer to you they are attracted to um the how you just kind of shoot from the hip and keep it straight up. So they, you know, so for many of you, soulmate connections are definitely happening this month. And we have the Nine of Wands. The Nine of Wands tells me that you're feeling this burden of having to, um, you know, cultivate your life, cultivate your goals, pursue love goals. And really, you're not sure if all this work is paying off. You are not sure if all the work you're putting into this relationship is paying off. You're invited at this time by Spirit to stay optimistic about your love life. It says positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. So whether you're in a relationship or not, many of you are going to be in the month of February, especially between like February 15th to the end of February feeling challenged, feeling like it was all this work really worth it. You're starting to see some results, but it's not quite the yield that you were hoping for. And so you're wondering if if what you're doing has really got long lasting effects of, you know, of the opportunity for success. And it does. In fact, it actually you've been putting in the work and now your soulmate um, is now energetically being called to you and you being called to them. It says soulmate. So if for some of you um, in this dating stage is already in, in the midst of your soulmate, already connecting with them, already knowing them. Some of you this month is when you call in your soulmate. So it's like various um 
stages of the energy of calling in your soulmate. And some of you, this is confirmation that you are with your soulmate. This is the person that you um, are meant to be with. So it's important to remember to stay optimistic about your love life. That will be most helpful to you in, in navigating your love life. Now, the tools. The tools that you will be utilizing in the month of February to navigate love situations and to bring about love is the Knight of Pentacles, and the Knight of Pentacles is about sticking to it, staying true to the course, being, you know, paying attention to the details, not giving up, you know, recognizing it could take a year or longer to bring about the love that you wish to have in your life, and that you, all the while, you're staying optimistic about your love life, okay? So those are the tools. Stay in the course continuing to do the work and staying optimistic about your love life why because your soulmate is is right there the universe is ready to deliver what it is that you want which is a your soulmate connection a beautiful blossoming relationship with someone that you can grow old with well it's right there now it's just a matter of making sure you let go of those negative thought patterns or anything that's in your way that's blossoming or not or preventing you from really blossoming and shining your light or receiving the love that you deserve or calling being able to call in your soulmate this month this all changes for the better things turn around where you finally get it and you're staying optimistic about your love life and it's having a positive effect in what you're manifesting um, at the conclusion of the month, we have the Moon card, the Fool card, the Eight of Cups, and the Page of Cups. And the Moon card, this you know, at the end of the month, going into March, you know, things don't always seem so clear. Um, when things are a little dark and you don't know what you're really looking at, you're not sure what to do next. Well, you're called to listen to your intuition at all times, but especially during times when shadows are being cast in and you're not quite sure what you what's going on. So during this time of letting go and of staying optimistic about your love life, it's important to listen to your intuition even more so now. Even if you don't trust it, even if you feel like your intuition has failed you with a past failed relationship, but it hasn't. You just chose to ignore it, probably the information that was coming. Um, but your intuition, chances are, was probably right on the money. Um, this month you'll be taking a leap, taking a jump, going over the edge on, not like bad going over the edge, but saying, you know what, I'm not quite sure I have all the answers, but I'm going to jump anyway. I'm going to do this. I'm going to take the plunge. I'm going to go on these dates. I'm going to hang out with friends and who knows what may happen. I may meet someone there. I'm going to take a chance with my partner and do something that they enjoy doing and see them light up. It's going to bring about a beautiful change to my soulmate's face and to my soulmate's life. Um, some of you who are not in relationships, we have the Eight of Cups, um, will be walking away from a disappointing kind of a one-sided booty college kind of relationship. And it just, you're going to be going to higher ground of feeling like you're ascending rather than descending down into the dundrums with Folks who are okay with just kind of hanging out and not being emotionally fulfilled. You're like, I'm out of here. I'm gone. I'm moving on. So some of you will actually be leaving relationships this month. Um, others will be, um, maybe this is just walking to, again to higher ground of letting go of negative thought patterns as you stay optimistic about your love life. But literally some of you are 
um, walking away from scenarios or situations that are no longer serving you. You're going to um, the page of cups where you're having, a, you know, an adventure or being in wonderment about your love life. Saying, you know what, I'm going to take a chance and I'm going to try out love and try out being optimistic about love and seeing what happens, what's going to happen here. And then what happens is, lo and behold, rumblings of news of your soulmate is coming. And that's exciting. This month, in terms of sexual, sensual energies, we have the Ten of Wands, which I say in the first part of the month, not much in the way of sex life, or if it is, you know, sexual connections, it's not the most um, gentle or the most, um, what is the word? Oh, I, yeah, I guess gentle would be the word where sometimes a partner might have a more gentle hand. This might be someone who is just not, that's just not their style this month or maybe ever. And you just kind of feel off and not really in connection with your, your partner in that way, whether you're in a relationship or just kind of in a casual situation. So it's kind of casting a light on, like this month with February, it kind of casts a light on the fact that you're not really, um, that the sex life feels a little one-sided and not satisfying in a good way. Um, fortunately, from the mid part of the month to the end, we have the Maiden of Pentacles. Um, so that's like the Page of Pentacles where you're like, okay, I wasn't so satisfied with how my sex life was going in the beginning of the month. I'm going to do things to cultivate my own sensual connections with myself. And with my, if I'm in a relationship with my partner, I'm going to be the one who ushers in that and kind of makes it a safe and nurturing and sexy place in our bedroom for that. I'm going to be the one to bring about that change. It may take a while for me to gather up everything to, for my partner to see the effort that I'm putting in, but nevertheless, I'm putting in that effort. For those who are single, this is you putting in your efforts to uh, be a better partner, be a better uh, partner to yourself and being a better partner essentially to someone you would care about, whether you're single or not. So, yeah, that's what's happening in your love life in the month of February, Capricorns. I hope you find this information helpful. Uh, be sure to check out your general life oracle reading or your abundance tarot um, and oracle reading. And I look forward to seeing you all in the next video.